On the phone line, we have got John Cooper of Skillet. Hi, John. Hey, how's it going? It is going. Super excited to be able to talk to you today. Well, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Point Fest, uh, you guys have, have done a couple of these, haven't you? Yeah, so very excited to come back. I think we've done at least two. Um, it's possible that we even did three. I can't quite remember, but excited to come back. Um, and uh, it's got some of the awesomest roller coasters in the world, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm, I'm not too much of a coaster girl. I don't handle that as well as what I used to, but it's like for those of you who are brave enough to go top through a dragster, more power to you. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, I've done it. It's, it's amazing. I remember doing it. My hair, afterwards, my hair was just like, like totally cray. It was like everywhere, and people wanted pictures. And I was trying to get my hair back down because, uh, you know, that stuff will end up on, you know, what happens at Point Fest stays on Facebook, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, speaking of hair, you went darker, and now you've got, like, the whole, like, facial hair, hipster beard thing going on there. You're looking good, buddy. So uh, do, you, do you just change up your look whenever you feel like it, or is there a method behind your madness? Uh, uh, not, not really a method, no. I mean, I've kind of had the, a similar maybe haircut for a while, but then I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to grow a beard. I had a couple months off when I was recording the record, and uh, <laughs> I had gone back and forth with, you know, shaving and scruff and beard, and, went, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to shave. It's just going to be fun. Record a record, and then after a couple of months, uh, I kind of liked it. My wife really li loved it, and she was like, don't shave. I really like it, and I, and I, I knew it made me look a little meaner, uh, but... I kind of liked it. <laughs> For the very first time in my life, I look mean. It's kind of nice. <laughs> be, be very nice to me, April. Speaking of which, okay, that segues perfect into a question that I had for you because I was doing my research uh, prepping for the interview. And uh, once again, we're talking to John Cooper of Skillet. Really, he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. He just has that mean persona going on. Okay, so um, the resistance getting um, mainstream airplay, which congratulations, that's huge. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Okay, but, but the promotional um, picture that I saw, okay, you've got, you know, Corey and Jen and, and, and you know, everybody else in the background and they're looking you know fly whatever and then you've got you it looks like you're screaming your head off with like this mean mug what's the story behind that oh really <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I if you've see seen that. that it's epic i gotta see that picture <laughs> uh, i'm not sure what that is I, mean, I never know what we're putting out as a press release um you no know, I, I don't have a mean persona i think that part of what it is is that that maybe like i think it's rock and roll culture you know sure. that maybe not everyone is uh uh, you know, privy to or something of that nature. Um, and in fact, one time I was doing a, a Q and A at a church, and they had shown uh, like a live footage video, like a montage before we went on. And I came up to do a Q and A, and they had questions from the audience. And there was like a seven-year-old kid, and his question he wanted to know from me was, "Have I ever physically killed anyone?" <laughs> That's hilarious. And I, and it brought the house down. Everybody was laughing, and I was thinking, I don't really know what he means. And then I watched the video. I'm like, oh, I guess I see what they mean. It's rock and roll culture. It's the intensity of a skillet show. It's like uber passion uh, because I, I love music. Music speaks to me, and and uh, and I write these songs, and I get, I'm lucky. I get to sing them every night because I believe them. So there's probably this performance thing as well as it's just the way I sing. So you have to you have to make weird faces to get the notes out, I guess. So apparently, uh, 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 apparently, I have a, a mean persona, which I didn't know until until right this very minute. <laughs> Aw, poor John. Seriously, you guys, John Cooper of Skillet, lead singer, and John is one of the nicest guys. Like we always hang out and stuff. So big, he'll give you his big squishy hugs, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of performances, I mean, yeah, I mean, you guys go full tilt all out. So we would expect nothing less from your performance at Point Fest. Am I correct? Oh, absolutely. You know, that's clearly, uh, well, that's what we're known for. And, 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 and you just kind of proved it on that last question. But yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> I just love music and, and I, I, uh, 
I love to see the fans singing and having a good time, and and I always try to make it my aim to. It's not like people have a bunch of extra money laying around, you know, that people have to decide what they're going to spend their money on, and they spend the money for a show. Then, then whether you feel, you know, as the artist, whether you're in the mood or whether you're sick or had a bad day or fighting with your wife or husband, whatever it is, you got to go on stage and you got to, uh, you know. Bring the thunder, that's what I call it. Anyway, you got to do your job, put on a show. So, yeah, Skill is very much known for that, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun, and, and uh, there'll be a lot of sweat. I, I sweat a lot. It's my thing. Once again, talking to John Cooper of Skill, I'm going to be at Point Fest on September the 16th. Okay, John, so uh, also on the docket, Casting Crowns, Lauren Daigle, and Ryan Stevenson. Have you ever performed with any of them, and uh, who are you excited to hang out with? Oh, yeah, let's see. We perform with Casting Crowns a lot. Um, I when I say a lot, I don't mean a hundred times, but certainly 15. Uh, friend, and they're definitely friends of ours. Uh, Lauren Daigle, I don't think we've actually ever played with. Uh, Lauren and my wife, Corey, are uh, kind of friends and have chatted, and I know that we, we hung out at a show, but I don't think we played on the same stage. So I am pretty sure that this is the first show we've ever shared the stage with Lauren. So that's going to be uh, extremely fun and, and awesome. She's the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> she is. Uh, she's, she's number two. My wife, Corey, is the cutest thing. Aww. Then Lauren can be number two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I would agree. Corey is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around. Once again, talking to John Cooper of Skillet. Now, you guys are in a very special place today. So can you let our listeners know where we are talking to you from? I am in uh, Denver area. And what do you guys got going on tonight? Yes, well, we're playing a show out here. We uh, got a show at a, it's kind of a new venue out here. Just, I don't think it's that far to Denver, maybe 45 minutes. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful venue. Um, it's not as beautiful as Red Rocks, but it's got... Um, a, a similar view, just not near as, as gorgeous, but it's uh, beautiful all around these mountains, and, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun playing with Colton Dixon tonight and going to have a, bi a big night. Excellent. Now, we are reading, uh, doing some reading up on where you're at tonight, and of course, today is September the 1st, which, star which starts Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and I know that's like been a, a big hot topic, uh, considering you know that we've lost a couple of people to suicide within you know the music industry in and of itself. Um, you know, maybe there's somebody out there tonight that will come, and maybe they're, they're dealing with that. I know that you guys are banned, you know, you've got the rock persona and the raw, you know, and, and the, the pyrotechnics and all this stuff, but as far as the is the hope aspect, um, you know, what are you hoping to convey to the audience? Well, you know, I, we do have a lot of those, uh, I'd say those kind of fans. A lot of people that listen to rock music in general can be people who are just by nature, like on the fringe, uh, and maybe they felt dis, you know, disaffected or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and misunderstood. I mean, that's a little bit of, kind of, again, the culture of rock and roll, how it started. So uh, lots of fans that come to Skillet shows that might not be religious at all, uh, some of them may be religious, but who suffer from depression and have had suicidal thoughts or attempts, things like that. So we talk about that stuff in our songs. I talk about it on stage sometimes, about how th that we are special to God and that He loves us. And, and I, I think a lot of people feel... They just feel that they don't matter. You know, I think it's it's like it's not even necessarily that they hate themselves. It's they just think basically that they're completely irrelevant to what's happening. You know, if if I wasn't here tomorrow, would anyone really care? You know, we have a lot of those kinds of fans. So I think talking about hope, talking about friendship, talking about a God that loves you, no matter who you are or, or how ins insignificant you may feel, that there's a uh, that there's a God that that created you. And, and, and knows who you are, knew you before you, the world was created, knew who you were, knows your name, and that, that you matter, you know, basically. So we talk about those kind of things live, and, you know, I think probably if, there, if I had to pinpoint one thing that was kind of the greatest message of Skillet or impact we've had on the world, it would be the probably the number of people that have, uh, you know, said that our songs helped them come back from suicidal thoughts or from cutting or save their lives or, you know, that sort of thing. We meet a lot of people like that. 
Once again, talking to John Cooper, and they're uh, near Denver tonight, but uh, heading our way with Point Fest on Saturday, September the 16th. Uh, John, the, uh, the album Unleashed doing really, really well. Uh, can you uh, give us a little bit of insight onto uh, that album before we let you go? Sure. Yeah, Unleashed was... Uh it was a really fun record to make and, and honestly kind of my goal of the record was to make a fun record I wanted to make something you could listen to and feel inspired and not have to feel too heavy you know the world's problems have gotten so big and, and even bigger since the record has come out but when we were writing it I kind of felt like people were looking for an escape from all the problems of the world so rather than kind of lifting them out and talking about them I just said you know let's make a record that's inspiring and fun to listen to and gives people hope uh you know our song that's out now at radio called lions you know lions was a song that was basically saying yeah there's a lot of hard things in the world a lot of things to be afraid of but uh, uh the battle belongs to the lord that's what the, what the bible says you know he fights the battles and he calls us to, to do our part but he has already won the battle so it's it's a song that's about being brave and 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 not feeling hopeless because god kind of goes before us you know these are all of course metaphors that the bible uses so that's why that's why i'm using them. so that's what the song lions talks about so in general it's a record i think that gives people hope and faith and it's kind of quite fun to listen to that's what i hope once again talking to john cooper of skillet john if people wanted to get a hold of any of your music or just find out more about you guys see where you're going to be touring uh, where could they find you on social media Oh, yeah. You know, the easiest thing to do still is the website, skillet.com, because it's the easiest to remember. Uh, and, and we've got Instagram at Skillet Music, Facebook, all, we have all that stuff. But you can find it all from the website. And uh, we, we put out uh, regular, like, video podcasts on YouTube. You can find that through the site as well. Instagram, we try to keep all that updated with live footage and stuff. So if you can find out everything you'd ever want to know and more on social media. Well, we super appreciate you taking the time out and talking to us about Point Fest, some of the things that you're up to tonight, and just you guys in general. Excellent. It's great to chat with you.